the boys are back in town. Also, by that I mean diddly d a car crash on the bypass. I got a tattoo of the pog guy on my ass. Anyways, it is game time. And yes, I am high on crack. What a freebie. <laughs> oh shit, here comes Pac-Man. <laughs> Anyways, I remember kiddos, the line between operation and mutilation is very thin. And Frank West, photojournalist, war Vietnam flash... Constant non-flashback man knows exactly what that means. As you can see, he has the TV with a picture of SpongeBob's TV and even a depiction of SpongeBob's TV inside. And look at him. Look at this guy right here. He looks like he's having a great jolly old time. And look at those individual Crispamundus pixels. Anyways, yeah, the real game that we're gonna oh god, zoom out. Um the real game we're gonna be playing is, you know, good old fashioned dead cells. So, uh, yeah, let's get gaming. Um. Oh, uh, yeah, sorry about that. Anyways, um. De God, de okay, Dead Cells is a Metroidvania. Shh. First person. No, third person. The really cool thing is, this is all fully three. Wait, let me get a good angle for this. The really gnarly thing about this game, the one thing I really love indie developers for, and don't mind that bear there. One thing I really love indie developers and motion to and for is, you know, hey, a new, a new, uh, oh, shit, a new update just came out. Pretty epic. Talk about a poggers moment. That seems very, yeah. Anyways, uh, right over there, that's my, uh, other workstation. That's where, you know, I play PC games like <clears throat> Among Us and Isaac. And speaking of Isaac, um, one of my favorite streamers of all time plays a game. That's that inspired this alongside half alongside Half Life, Metroid, and Castlevania. Sorry, I need to get a drink. Ironically enough, he recently started a new series on the third game of Dark Souls. By the way, I haven't seen Peg yet. Uh, by the way, it's a great fruit. Yeah, if you couldn't tell. And every time I think of Metroidvania, I think of that one time one of his Isaac streams. I think it was uh, um. Uh, Crooked Luck stream highlights. It was the one where uh, he got, um, I think, Blasting Cap, and he got the Perpetual... Um, I believe what I like to call the Perpetual Shitstorm, mainly because... Um... <laughs> basically, Blasting Cap, if you take damage, it summons a, a, a poop bomb. Not necessarily a poop bomb, but more like a landmine or a cow pie. But, you know, good old-fashioned, yes. Um, anyways... What I mean by that is, um, he, basically, you take damage, it summons a bomb. You take d damage from the poop, that, I mean poop bomb, take damage from that poop bomb. Subsequently, perpetual shitstorm. Very epic. Anyways, that's just the beginning of, of Isaac Baby Tears Christian Mom Insanity. What's going to ensue? And yes, my phone is indeed between my legs, just like my non-existent wiener. Uh, anyways, let's get gaming. I do play this game a lot, and I do know a fair bit about Shadow Jutsu dodge rolling from Dark Souls, ironically enough. Yes. This is super jank Dead Cells gameplay. Um, I'm actually thinking of investing in a capture card sometime in the near future, actually. So, hype for that. Uh, I also have a microphone over there. Oh, jeez. Uh, took damage. Anyways, uh, yeah, that's the menu. There's my ghost boost boosters poster, some art that I did, art that I've gotten. That one over there is heavily inspired by, you know, the man, the myth, the legend, Jack Stauber. Anyways, yield wood shield and rusty sword, also known as a meat mallet. Actually, a different thing's called the meat mallet, but we'll get to that later. Um, back to the game, I guess? Yeah. I'm not really used to, you know, having, you know, actual talk talk while playing video games. I'm usually dead silent, but, you know. Uh, you sure leave a comment on things that I can change? Like, well, obviously, not so shitty metric level jank, um, camera quality. But, you know, I could save up for a tripod. Specialist shop. Responding to the most eccentric of demands for at least 15 years and 8 updates now. Haha. -ha. Good one, Motion Twin. 
That's a that's a haha -ha funny. You see, we're here at the Garblambo channel. We have jokes and also man eating, becoming a sea turtle and literally just eating a can. Last one was Numa Numa and <laughs> and my latest one called When. My humor is just sense of humor is so degraded and so obscure at this point that even I don't know what's funny and not anymore. Anyways, yeah. Basically, um, to give you the gist of what Dead Cells is. And again, some Metroidvania. As you can see, over there, time limit. Yes, you get different rewards for, um, you know, how fast you can beat each level. Very epic. You can also do parries with shields, so you can actually run double shield. I'm actually going through the equivalent of a living hell. As you can see, um, for those of you who have played this game before, I have the goddamn starting sword and starter shield. So, I'm just kind of metric level boner owned right now, unless I can get um, the survival tactics and whatever the red. <laughs> I forgot what the third one was called. So, I'm just going to call it red. Um, anyways, if I can beat this level in under two minutes and literally just become Neo, kind of like what I did in <clears throat> Dungeon. And the thing is, um, I have this perk that lets me sell sell my jank. Very, very cool. So we find something useless, or in this case, um, everything is useless. Besides equipment, you know, tacticals, lethals, all that jazz. Uh, I'm gonna buy a sinner slicer. Basically, it's a slap. It's a weaponized slap chop. And basically, the Walmart concept art for Scout TF2 made a slap weaponized slap chop. Also known as, I think Vince something. You know the great Billy Mays, um, Anthony Sullivan, Phil Swift, those boys. Yeah, it's one of those guys. And as you can see, I didn't get either door. Sorry about the jank. Anyways, I see YouTube as um, less about camera quality, more about personality and entertainment. I mean, <laughs> that's a hell of a huge part of, you know, good old diddly darn quality content is having good camera stuff. But in my opinion, you don't really need it. If you're willing to put yourself out there and, you know, just, just be you and do whatever the, do whatever the hell you want. As long as it's in within the community guidelines. So, don't go throwing babies off a bridge. Yeah. That's that's not the only exception, but yeah. You get the idea. Um, yeah. Welcome to the Promenade, boys. This is, um, level two. There's a lot of intricate routes that you can take and go to different areas of the game in different ways. Um, yeah. So, my goal right now is just don't die. Don't land on the spikes. This is the bomb chuckers. It's also kind of Mega Man-esque. But more, uh, run-of-the-mill roguelike Metroid, Super Metroid. Actually, I've been watching a hell of a lot of Summoning Salt lately, so I learned that Matt Turk is pretty much final boss punch-out and, uh, kinda Contra. Just very epic. Uh, I, I say that a lot. I get self-aware and self-conscious about a lot of jank. And I'm self-conscious about being self-conscious, god damn. <laughs> you know, yeah. Been there, done that. As the great Maglo once said, uh, been through the ringer of self-doubt and depression. <gasps> oh, half- oh yeah, I have the Half-Life theme on! The one game that- ha Half-Life Alex, the one game that was in development hell somehow harder than Duke Nukem Forever. But, ha but it was def- but unlike Duke Nukem Forever, it was actually fucking worth the wait. I mean, I'm only 16, and I've only heard about it, and I never actually... And that's Yoli. Um, Yoli's, uh, you know, the, the thing that gives you extra life. Um, yeah, just casually rises back up from the dead. Mm, yes. Average University Park mall worker when Frank w Oh. Well, that's... Run over. Anyways, yeah, uh, I guess I'm gonna leave this one over here, boys. Um, I'm probably gonna record another run right after this. But, you know, anyways. Later, losers. Yeah, that's n not losers, uh, boys, gamers, champs, hogs. Yeah, bye.